Welcome back, trainers. Very exciting news. It's official. Beldum Community Day is happening on October 21st. Mark your calendars. This is going to be huge. Man, this is crazy. It actually happened. So amazing. Uh, we're going to go over some new features. We're going to talk about its move. We're going to go over its stats to see how well it's going to stack up. And if you're going to really want this, obviously, everybody's going to want it. Who cares if it's good or not? But the thing is, it is going to be great. So we're going to talk about that and look at a new feature that Niantic has implemented into Pokemon Go for Community Day. It's going to be great. Let's go and check it out. All right. So I'm definitely walking my Metagross here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at my candies really quick. 736. I'm looking good. Only evolved one. Happy with that. That works, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. I also have a 100 and a lucky one as well. So we're going to go ahead and go into news here and check it out. All right, here we are. Mark your calendars for October Community Day featuring the Steel and Psychic type Pokemon Beldum on Sunday, October 21st. And there are the dates for you there. All righty. And features. This is the exciting part. Beldum will appear more frequently in the wild. Lures last three hours for the duration of the event. All right. Now, here we go. Evolve a Meditang up to one hour after the event to obtain Metagross that knows a special move. There you <laughs> That's amazing. So, once you know how there's three hours for the event, after the three hours, you cannot evolve into that special move. We're going to have one hour now to get that move with Meditang evolve it so if we if, if you get or something like that now you're going to be able to just do it after the event or if you're grinding and you didn't do all of them and you didn't realize you had a very good IV one well you're going to have one hour now to evolve them that is amazing right all right so make sure you take the day off because it's going to be on Sunday this is going to be intense it, I saw so many people out for Chikorita this one right here is going to be I say one of the most worthwhile it's going to put it basically on the top of the meta for steel types. And not only that, it's going to be a, it's just amazing. It looks amazing, right? Everybody's going to want to find that best IV shiny that they can get. This is something you want as many as you can possibly find. So I'm so excited. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So we're going to take a look at something else here. Um, some more tweets about stats of Deoxys and possibly EX passes being distributed who knows when but at least the stats have been added so that's the next step for us to get those passes to finally see what this is going to look like in an ex raid so let's go ahead and take a look at a few more things here all right here we are on bulbapedia and these are metagross's moves here we have meteor mash doing 90 so we can probably expect a two charge bar move doing 90 damage each one so that is going to be great Otherwise, I, I don't see any other moves being used. This has been in the network traffic is basically established. So that's a big thumbs up. Can't wait to try that out. Now we just have to wait to see how uh, the cooldown is going to be. Hopefully it's just going to be quick and not very slow. All right, so we're over here on GoHub. We're going to take a look at Metagross's stats so you can see how much of a beast this thing is. It's basically almost a legendary. So at 100% IV, 3,636 CP. Attack, 257 <laughs> Defense 247 and stamina 160. So uh, yeah, with its current moves, let's go ahead and take a look. It's okay as a psychic offense attacker. It will basically a gym defender with that move set actually. So if a team of Machamps is running through and they come across your Metagross, they're gonna have some trouble with your psychic moves. Bullet Punch, Flash Cannon. It has those just one charge bar moves and that's another indicator to look for on Pokemon that you might think might get a community day but you already know they are. So say um, uh, Salamance, for instance, it has those just one charge bar moves. Give that guy a community day and it's gonna get, I say, Outrage or some Dragon Claw possibly. So back onto the subject for Metagross here. So just one charge bar moves and it's pretty okay, right? Once it gets um, Meteor Mash, it's gonna be outstanding. So there you go, just a little taste. Let's go ahead and look at its uh, weaknesses, resistances, and all that. So you have an idea of how well it would do in a gym. So weak to dark, fire, ghost, and ground. Resisting poison, psychic, dragon, fairy, flying, grass, ice, normal, rock, and steel. All right, so uh, pretty good. If you drop it in there with, say, Zen Headbutt and Meteor Mash, yeah, that's going to be a nice gym defender. Not only that, it's going to look real 
real good in that gym. <laughs> Everybody's gonna wanna get their shiny Metagross in that gym first, you know? Right, so we're over here on Reddit. We're gonna take a look at Deoxys stats for all forms. Thanks for Kevin for posting this. So let's go ahead and get started with the normal form here. Capture rate 6%, stamina 100, attack 345, defense 115. Moves, Zen Headbud, Signal Beam, Psycho Boost, Zap Cannon, and Hyper Beam. Now, Signal Beam is marked under Quick Move. I'm not too sure what's going on with that, but let's move on to the next one. We have Attack, Capture Rate 6%, Stamina 100. Base Attack is going to be 414, then Defense 46. So, very interesting. Zen Headbud, Poison Jab, Psycho Boost, Zap Cannon, and Dark Pulse. I'm really liking that Poison Jab on the Attack form there. Ooh, can't wait to use that. We always have Cloudy Weather, but that's probably going to be you know, a while down the road because... We're not going to see the attack form yet. Just the normal one. 6% for the defense. Capture rate. Stamina 100. Attack 144. And defense 330. Wow. That's pretty good. Zen Headbud for its fast move. Counter. Psycho Boost. Zap Cannon. And Rock Slide. Rock Slide. Interesting. All right. So this one's actually marked normal. So we're just going to base this one off the one we possibly will be seeing in the EX rates very soon. So same stats. 100. Stamina. 345 attack and defense 115 this is where it changes a little bit zen headbud signal beam psycho boost thunderbolt and hyper beam so instead of zap cannon this one has thunderbolt which seems a little bit more difficult to go up against because it'll be continuously happening now we have deoxys speed form here six percent capture rate stamina 100 attack 230 and defense 120 so there is no speed right so what's going on with the speed I'm thinking uh, charge move is just going to go up extremely quick, and that's what's going to be special about the speed form. All right, unless they change the mechanics of the game, which I don't think they're going to do that. They'll just implement the first option. Zen Headbud, Charge Beam, Psycho Boost, Zap Cannon, and Swift. So there you go. Thank you, Kevin, very much for posting these. Much appreciated. Okay, trainers, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at my buildums really quick, and then we're going to go over making teams to duo Deoxys. That's right. It can be done. I'm pretty sure it's it should be able to be done. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Go by number and scroll the way down. There we are because I'm looking great. So I thought I transferred my 100. I was getting so nervous, uh, but there it is. Wow, I'm really hoarding these. I had just quite a few of them, as you can see here. Brought my candies up to a good amount there, 736. Stardust is going up quite nicely as well and I got the lucky one so I'm looking fantastic now let's go over making teams to duo Deoxys now I say can you go in there with Tyranitar's six teams or six of them and just crunch and bite your way through it I it might be able to be done I'm not talking about weather boosted like non weather boost uh, I'm not too sure but this is uh, the safest bet here what you know what you're gonna want it's gonna be all Gengars <laughs> with Shadow Claw and if you're wondering well I have Hex is that gonna make that much difference yeah it really is I mean it's not gonna make it horrible but to make the duo happen it, you might need Shadow Claw give it a shot I don't know what the numbers are quite yet this is just me taking a guess so a team like this or <laughs> you know maybe if you only have three throw in some Tyranitars but I highly recommend you're gonna probably want to do <laughs> Mewtwo. So these are all Shadow Ball here. So we'll just say like this and like that, right? So that's a duo team. Gengars or Mewtwo's, Tyranitar's possibly. Um, you might be able to even use like six <laughs> unique Pokemon each because this Dioxys just might be that simple to duo. Uh, but only time will tell. Should be fun. I can't wait, especially with the invite feature. If you don't know that by now, uh, what that is, is when you receive an EX pass, you can now invite trainers uh, that are great friends or best friends. Uh, sorry, ultra or best friends. And then you can invite them to that EX raid with you. Now, if they get an invite to another EX raid, I'm not too sure if you can still invite them to yours. So keep that in mind. But if, uh, say, somebody you know didn't get one and they're like kind of bummed out, like, really, I didn't get one, I hit the raids, you're like, hey, I'll invite you to this one. Perfect. There you go. So it should make the places that you have your EX raids extremely packed. Should be fun. The more the merrier, right? Now let's go over a team 
This says Hitmonchan. Don't just <laughs> disregard that, all right? We'll just put a, a dot there. All right, so Duo. All right, we got that out of the way. And I'm sure there's going to be some pros out there who try to find a way to duo it using all unique teams. You know, you know how they do. All right, so let's go over this. Um, say you don't have those and you just want to pick a normal team. The counters are going to basically be like Mewtwo, guys. Yeah, that's about it. There's not too much to talk about. So just uh, Tyranitar. We have uh, Sungazer. There's Bite and Crunch. I'm picking that one first because I know a lot of people have that. Uh, and then high DPS things, you know, even your Dragonite, <laughs> but it's not recommended. You can use better things here. So, uh, what else would I want to use? Uh, bug types, dark types. If you have a Heracross, you can use all bug moves. That works. Uh, it's not going to be your highest DPS option. Uh, Caesar with uh, all bug moves as well. That works. Uh, Shadow Ball Mewtwo. That would work as amazing because Deoxys doesn't have a counter to Psychics this time around. Well, it does on one of the forums, but not for the one we're going to see first. So, unless they change it up right before they release it. Uh, so, yeah, your counters are just going to be like Mewtwo. We can just search Dark here and just pick uh, uh, Houndour. And you can even pick a Muck, you know, Bite and Crunch. Absol works as well. If you have one of those powered up, those are high DPS. Higher than Houndour and Tyranitar. It's just... An extreme glass cannon goes down very very fast um, let's see what else we can use throw in the Mewtwo with shadow ball there and then the Gengar of course and I mean you don't have to worry too much about it it's gonna be a real easy one okay so it's just gonna be more for the excitement of having a good IV one this time and the challenge of trying to duo it so if you don't have exactly the strongest Pokemon around but you still want to try a challenge Give it a shot with three people. That should be able to work as well. All right, so just use your imagination. Just dark, bug, and um, ghost types. You should be good to go there for a team. So there you have it, trainers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Get excited. A lot of good information coming out. Beldum Community Day announced. Let's go. This is going to be great. I'm super excited. So what can you do to prepare? Basically, just walk your... <laughs> your Metagross. As a matter of fact, I just transferred quite a few rare candies into it because I just had so many. Let's go ahead and take a look at that before we head out here. Let's see. I'm I'm up to that. <laughs> 1,268. Yeah. So it's really kind of weighing my bag down. I really feel like I should transfer some into Mewtwo because I have a feeling I'm going to power up another one. Possibly. Because I just received... Oh, yeah. For, <laughs> didn't even mention this. Show you this right here. It's actually a 96 Mewtwo. 14, 14, 15. So close. All right. But so close, but no cigar. All right, Jonas. Thank you for watching. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.